Hello, we are back again today. Yeah. Yes, look again. Video two, three videos in three days. This has never happened on my channel, but guess who's back? Who came to see me at work today? Got another I'm surprise. Sure that. I told yes, you I'll be back. She did so, and she's here. And I, wait a minute, though, y'all. Hold up. Why she got my colors on today? Why do we look? Look at this, y'all. Why? She came to work. She had she she wanted to look like me today. So we got the same colors on. I'm gonna tell you. I'm sorry about my hands, but you know we doing a bootleg over here. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, we're here. Third video in three days, and Boo is here, and we're just here to talk. And it's not about a lot. Just um, I don't know if you've noticed, but we are actually in an age gap relationship. My wife is 32, about to be 33. And I turned 47 on July 6th. So we are truly in an age gap relationship. And a lot of people that are around us want to know how does that work? How does it feel? Um, it has its good and its bad days. Um, I've been in Walmart before and they're like, oh, your daughter is so cute. I'm like, I know I don't look that old to be her mama. I know that first of all, especially when we're trying to have a child. But, you know, she has a young looking face. So sometimes people do. Yes, cute young face. Some people do misconstrued her as being so much younger than what she is. And so that does kind of put some anxiety in a relationship sometimes. But she's a good person. I don't mind her looking young sometimes, especially when they don't call me her mama. But, you know, most people can figure out that we are a couple and that we are together. But, you know, it is weird sometimes to be in a, such a big age gap relationship, but we make it work. We try to make it work. And she's got an old soul. I promise you she's got an old soul. Yes. How do you feel about being in an age gap relationship? It really doesn't bother me. It doesn't. I mean, she doesn't act her age. <laughs> <laughs> that's the one she don't act her age. I met people that's older than her and, well, let me say this, younger than her and act way old. Yeah, so it doesn't bother. Yeah, it doesn't bother. How about when people call you call me your mom? Okay, yeah, that pisses me off. <laughs> I think sometimes she does matter than I do, but it does get on my nerves sometimes. Especially like if I'm all dressed up for work and then she's dressed like, and then we go somewhere, it's like, oh, how cute you're out here with your daughter, and I'm like, or I've gotten, oh, your son is so. Ah, you can clearly oh, look yeah. at her. And tell that she is a female however she dresses she's still a female underneath all that you know she is a woman so it that kind of irritates me sometimes but for the most part it doesn't bother me but you know I've, I've gotten a lot of questions about well when you're in an age gap relationship two now you're trying to have a child um how is that going to work i mean it works like any other relationship our age gap does not define who or what we are it's just you know questions that come at us the biggest question, though, is why isn't she carrying? If she's so much younger, why isn't she carrying? Well, why aren't you carrying, babe? Because honestly, I do not want to go through the female experience of it. I just don't. Right. She doesn't want that side. And I've always wanted to carry. I've always wanted to be a mother. She's always wanted to be the one to go get the pickles and ice cream. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> we're good with that. Now, I will say this. If it does not work for me in the long run, what have you offered to do? I would carry. Yeah, you see, she does. Yeah, carry. she did offer to carry if um, the embryo adoption or donation situation does not work. So she did throw that little white flag out there, that little truce flag that if it doesn't work. But honestly, I don't know if it would be the same for me either. Yes, my goal is to be a mother, but I think it'd be kind of odd because I want the female side of it. And not that she's a male because she's not a male, but she wants the more masculine side of it. Um, a little bit. I mean, I do want to see if I'll be big. You know, some small woman, their stomachs are huge. I just want to see my stomach going to be huge or not huge or, you know, what's the uh, cravings I would have. But so maybe she'll carry baby know. number two. If we don't have twins, maybe she'll carry baby number two. I don't know, but, maybe. you know. <laughs> well, yeah, we have discussed all that. So, you know, we get a lot of people, you know, especially on Facebook and other things are like, yeah, we know you're going through the embryo adoption, but you being 47, and mind you, this is not when I first started. I just turned 47 a month ago. So this has been something in the making since I've been about 42. But why are you the one that's carrying? Why is she carrying? She's so much younger. She can do it to seven. And just in our relationship, the way our relationship is set up and the way we work, that just wasn't going to work for us. Um... We just both wanted it from the opposite end. I wanted it from the 
uh, feminine side she wanted it from the masculine side so we just came to what will work both best for us but at the end of the day if it does not work god willing it does you know we're so close to transfer right now we are like within 30 days of having two babies on board prayfully that you know i don't want to think anything negative but if it doesn't work at least she did volunteer to carry so i'm very 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 grateful for that to allow us to be mothers because we built will both be mothers no matter what at the end of the day no matter what she wears or how she looks we both still will be mothers so you know i just you know i get so many i, I don't want to say ignorant comments but you know I, I get a lot of people who just ask some of the dumbest stuff and you're like well, that makes no sense. She's still a woman. Like, at the end of the day, she could. And, well, you're so old. Why would you want to carry in this and the third? Um, age is just a number at the end of the day. Age is not just a number. You know, doctors don't feel like I'm too old to do it. You know, when I pass all my medical clearances. Um, this is just the time in my life when it's right. I feel like everything has to align up sometimes for just the stars to work. So guess reason. what? You just said key word. My. Yeah. My life. Yes. Not your life. Mm -hmm. My life. Right. So, whatever happens with our lives <laughs> is gonna happen. Right. So you know, I, we get a lot of naysayers. So you know, you know, I laugh and I joke a lot on this channel, and you know, I make a lot, a light of a lot of things. But at the end of the day, we still have an everyday life to live, and we do have a lot of negative Nellies. Um, like I said, we did a whole relocation to a whole other state. To make this dream come true, you know, leaving jobs, leaving family, you know, being really on our own. And, you know, that's not a good feeling to have. But I will say this, we have reached out. We've had a lot of people reach out to us. And it's been positive so far. It, you know, things are happening one day at a time as they should. And like I said, just maybe two minutes ago, things have finally aligned in such a way that it is our time to make these dreams of ours as a couple in a relationship make them work just like in a heterosexual relationship when people want to have babies you know they can just lay down hey ma'am hopefully you know they experience infertility also but they have a better chance of getting pregnant whereas us being a same sex couple um we go through a lot more and even on this embryo adoption journey sad to say you know we went on a lot of sites on facebook we went on a lot of things trying to get you know donated embryos and things like that people wouldn't even look at our profiles which is sad so the clinics that i have been able to, able to work with thank god they're lgbt friendly um so we haven't had a lot of backlash with that now i will say one of the clinics i was kind of questioning like their authenticity as far as wanting to work with us but for the most part i don't think we've run into any red flags medically as far as doctors and practices that are offering this but I will definitely say, like, and just in the regular community, as far as trying to get donated embryos, we've been trying for years, you know, since we found out about this, it's been like, you know, we've been posting our profile, we've been telling her, do. she works in corrections, I work in management, I mean, we have a nice, stable home, we, you know, we try to live our best life, as my channel is called, you know, there is nothing holding us back, and we never really got contacted from anyone, as far as getting, um, donated embryos which I feel like is you know kind of sad because we would have took any embryos you know white black Asian anything we were just looking to start a family um we did have pacifics when we went to clinics because we figured they would have more specifically what we were looking for but at the end of the day our goal is just to become parents you know it doesn't matter how that happens even if it was through adoption or foster care and that was another option that we were looking at but i felt like as long as i was healthy as long as i was strong as long i just wanted to have that experience i wanted to have that nine months to carry the baby to go through all that to go through the pain and say hey this is mine this is what you know we produced you know this is what we fought so hard to get to so i just totally feel like um we just want that opportunity and be an age gap, be in same sex as the slogan says, love is love, love is love. And we have so much love um, to give to a baby. We do. We, we've been fighting for so long for this. And, you know, and I've, you know, you know, my story, I've been fighting for years to get to this point. And yes, yeah, she is a little younger, but, you know, she wants a family. And these are things that we discuss. So this isn't something that just fly by night like, hey, OK, let's have a baby. No, these are things that we really discuss and you know all these years later she is why she's my partner because 
we have so many things in common even though there's so many years between us but you know this was our journey and we're taking it day by day and we really just wanted to stop through and say hi <laughs> um she promised you another video today and y'all she came through i'm telling you just <laughs> in the afternoon and i'm like who is that pulling up because i told you i'd be nosy out my window and it's her and i'm like oh and she seen me this morning when i left for work and mm, okay, I I like rest. Me. she got some rest you see she's talking after that that was she real like what how many hours i was up 26 hours yeah she was up a long time yesterday a long it's time because yesterday. i wanted to be up on the end yeah, see, because she loves me. She just wanted to be up under me. But, you know, that makes me feel special. But, <laughs> but yeah, so she came and she said, well, let's do a video because we promised to do a video. And I was like, okay, well, we talking about the embryos yesterday. What are we going to talk about today? She said, let's talk about what all the people be saying about how much older you are than me. So, that's what we decided to do. But we just wanted to touch base and say hi and let you know what's going on and if you've been here for a while, hi, thank you for sticking around. And if you're new, hey, hit the like button, subscribe, mm -hmm. see see where this journey takes us. Because um, we're in for a real good roller coaster ride. And now that we're really good into doing these videos and stuff, your guys are going to get a lot more of them. Especially now that the um, embryo adoption process is really about to happen. Like, we are in transfer mode now. Like, literally, I am shaking in my boots because, you know, I know the AF is about to start any day well in the next week and it's real y'all it's real like we were just discussing that before we even started video like this is real like there is no going back we're about to hit inject and go so like we are ready for this roller coaster ride and you know just thankful for y'all stopping by and listening to what we had to say so you have a great day i'm gonna see you more oh <laughs> and we're gonna see her more that's what i'm talking about y'all have a great day enjoy the rest of y'all day all right baby dust to everybody Baby does. And Sadie, baby does. And don't test too early. <laughs>